Hello students, welcome to Vivid Botany. Here we have a question of match the following type. We have been given, given here uh, four types of bacteria. All these bacteria are used by uh, different purposes in various occasions. Let me explain you one after the other. First, Bacillus thuringiensis. So, Bacillus thuringiensis is commonly called as so this bacillus thuringiensis commonly called as bt it is bio insecticide or pesticide so what it will do exactly this bacteria will produce a toxin and the toxin will kill certain insects like i mentioned the types of insects that are being killed by the toxin produced by Bacillus thuringiensis that include here one is dipterons or dipterons they are flies and mosquitoes right and coleopterons that are beetles lepidopterans that include tobacco budworm and army worm so these are the insects that are being killed by the bacillus thuringiensis produced toxin so here the main important point is that when this toxin is produced it is in inactive form it is called as protoxin the inactive toxin is called as protoxin so when this protoxin is ingested inside the insect when it reaches the gut of the insect in the gut of the insect due to alkaline secretions the protoxin becomes active protoxin becomes active due to alkaline secretions that takes place in mid gut of the insects and when this becomes protoxin becomes active toxin this toxin causes pores swelling lysis and at last the death of the insect so what we did nowadays that we have inbuilt introduced the genes the bt genes into some plants and we have produced here bt cotton bt corn bt rice bt tomato bt potato and bt soybean the all these plants are resistant against the insects and they can sustain the attack of attack of these insects and another most important thing is that uh specific bt toxin genes are produced i told you that from bacillus thuringiensis and they are incorporated into various plants like cotton among which bt cotton is very famous so here we should select the genes depending upon the crop and the pest also remember bt toxins are insect group specific remember this bt toxins are insect group specific that is particular insects are being targeted and they are only being killed by the bt toxin not all the insects are being targeted and being killed by the bt toxin the bt toxin protein is encoded by a gene that is called as 
cry the toxin toxin yani ki protein see all toxins are proteins encoded by by a gene that is called as cry 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 so here so many types of the uh, genes are there that produce different types of the cries so this cries are specific towards the insect that they kill so we have some examples here like cry one ac cry one ac c and cry two ab cry one ac cry two ab they control cotton ball worm do remember cry one ac cry two ab control cotton ball worm cry one ab controls corn borer cry one ab controls corn borer so this is what we can understand about the bacillus thuringiensis or bt or bio insecticide bio pesticide and various types of examples of the cry genes next we have thermus aquaticus see thermus aquaticus is a methanogenous methanogenic bacteria i mean it is a uh, archaea bacteria it is a thermophilic bacteria thermophilic bacteria means it can sustain high temperature that it lives at high temperature right so how we are making use of this bacteria thermus aquaticus that is in geysers hot water springs they live so from the thermus aquaticus a dna polymerase is extracted we know that synthesis of dna is done by dna polymerase so that is tac polymerase tac polymerase is extracted from thermus aquaticus so the speciality of this enzyme is that this enzyme can catalyze polymerization of nucleoside triphosphates at high temperature like that uh, 80 to 90 degree celsius so this enzyme is popularly used in pcr technique that is polymerase chain reaction we know that in polymerase chain reaction if you give one dna molecule that is amplified made multiple copies of the given dna this polymerase chain reaction is done in a machine called as thermocycler so what is the relation between the polymerase chain reaction and a high temperature yes we are coming to the point in this polymerase chain reaction three steps are there the first step is denaturation during the denaturation temperature is raised to 80 to 90 and by 94 degrees celsius at that temperature the two dna strands of double stranded dna will get separated to form two single single stranded dna molecules each single strand dna acts as the template so to the template primers are attached in annealing step where the temperature is lowered so after attaching the primer then next step that is uh, extension where the tac polymerase will catalyze polymerization of nucleoside triphosphates in template dependent manner next we discuss about the agrobacterium tumefaciens what is speciality of this agrobacterium tumefaciens see is a bacteria which causes the tumors it causes the tumors in plants in fact so this bacteria contains a tumor inducing plasmid what we call it as tip tip stands for 
ट्यूमर इंड्यूसिंग प्लास्मिड सो वेन ए प्लांट इज अटैक्ड बाय द बैग्रो बैक्टीरियन ट्यूबिफिशियंस इट काज एस फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ट्यूमर्स इन साइड द होस्ट प्लांट सो दैट डिसीज इज कॉल्ड क्राउन गॉल क्राउन गॉल ऑफ एपल ट्यूमर इंड्यूसिंग प्लांट नॉट प्लांट इट इज प्लास्मिड so this causes formation of tumors in host plant and one more speciality of this agrobacterium is that it can infect any dicot plant it can infect any dicotyledonous plant now efforts are going on to enable agrobacterium to attack upon the monocots also so how do we exploit the agrobacterium tumefaciens see when you want to insert a desired dna inside a host plant first we remove the tumor inducing plasmid from agrobacterium and we attach the desired dna then that recombinant dna is allowed to i mean it is transferred into agrobacterium and agrobacterium which is transformed cell with the desired dna having plasmid is allowed to attack upon the plant so inside the host plant the bacteria will transfer tumor inducing plasmid into the host tissue where the desired dna gets expressed so we have so many examples where we have produced where we have developed the transgenic plants what we call transgenic plants where the plants express the desired genes what we have inserted inside the agro bacteria so it is a user friendly bacteria and a very good bacteria nowadays being used very well in recombinant dna technology but the disadvantage of this is that it cannot infect the monocot plants and majority of the staple food that we take is of monocot plants only so efforts are going on to may enable the agrobacterium to attack upon even monocots also so that is about the agrobacterium next we have salmonella typhi murium see salmonella typhi murium is a bacteria so what is the importance of salmonella typhi urea so during 1972 the first recombinant dna was produced by using the native plasmid of salmonella typhi murium with the help of this restriction endonucleases dna ligase and its plasmid so during 1972 herbert boyer herbert boyer stanley cohen herbert boyer and stanley cohen actually herbert boyer studied the restriction endo nucleus for the first time and stanley cohen studied the plasmids we know plasmids are the extra chromosomal Uh, double stranded circular naked self replicating dna molecules present in some bacteria so these two people during 1972 for the first time for the first time constructed recombinant dna by using native plasmid of salmonella typhi murium we know that salmonella typhi murium causes even typhoid also so typhi murium so these are some of the important points i did not uh, enter into depth of the concept just have superficial i have explained all the bacteria 
Now let us see maths the following. Bacillus thuringiensis that is of cry protein. I have told you that they produce the cry proteins. Next thermus aquaticus that will uh, used for extraction of DNA polymerase that is called as TAC polymerase that is used in polymerase chain reaction which can sustain the high temperature. Agrobacterium tumefaciens, I have told you that it is being used as the cloning vector in many dicotinous plants and we have so many examples today in the market that are produced by using Agrobacterium tumefaciens. Sarmonella trifumurium, the construction of first recombinant DNA molecule in 1972 by Herbert Boyer and Stanley Cohen. So A4, A4 is only for one, this is A4, then B3, B3 is right, then uh, C1, yeah, C1 is also right, then D2, D2, AC is also right. So this is the right answer for this question. So this question is a multiple concept oriented. One should be having thorough knowledge of different concepts like which bacteria is useful in which process. Is it useful or harmful? In what way it is useful? Specifically, one should have a good knowledge about the bacteria. Then only he can do very well this type of the question. So hope I am reaching to your wavelength, your level. So don't hesitate to comment on that. Please pose your doubts. Please interact with me. Show your response in comment box. And we will be stretching my hands. I will be going through all your doubts one after the other. And don't forget to subscribe my channel Vivid Botany. Thank you.